Well, uh, <coughs> that was um, well, that was a bit more than a minute. Uh, it's the next day, and uh, I got my cool black on there. There it is. I don't know if you can see it there because the light's a bit bright, but uh, it's on there. I blended it in with a cold black, so now we're going to work on this warm black. Now I give you the mix for this warm black, which I've altered because I'm not used to painting interiors. Really, I'm more of a. I've been painting landscapes a lot, you know, and uh, it didn't look right on you. I, I wanted to put a nice burnt orange glaze in, in, in the cathedral on it and it was leaving too much work for the glaze. So um, so I'll show you that new mix now in a second. And um, you can see that on that one there. That's a painting I put on there for you because I've used all those blacks on that painting there. This is the cold black and this is the, the last black I used underneath, underneath, you know. So, um, so uh, it's cold over there anyway because I still haven't got my gas bottle. As um, well, my wife needed a car for work, and uh, she's got a new job, and uh, so we had to prioritise a bit, because she's the one that's earning all, earning all the money. Well, I say that she now works as a as a minimum rate chef, but uh, she's very happy with that though. She's very happy. She used to be a a school teacher at. Um, a primary school teacher and therefore for over uh, 30 years over 30 years and um, she's retrained now into this catering person and she's doing very well yeah she um, she's specializing in uh, traditional fare you know like roasts and um, pies and puddings and everything lovely stuff you know lovely stuff and uh, and I'm happy with that because uh, she's trying out all the new recipes on me and uh, she brings me on all the leftovers as well. So it's this win, win, win. So um, I get on with mixing this palette now. I'll get these paints up in a minute. Um, let's go a bit out on here in a minute first. Yeah, best of luck to her, you know. It's a nice, it's a nice venue she's in as well, you know. She's, uh, she works in this most beautiful tranquil setting and um, like I said a, a big salary it's not everything is it you know and um, she's going from strength to strength and the uh, the inconclusive result of that salmonella inquiry is a thing of the past now you know and uh, yeah. Get him on there a second. And yeah. Yeah. She's just very happy not to be a school teacher anymore. It wasn't the kids. They were lovely. They were lovely kids. And I don't think it was the parents either. I think it's only natural to be a aggressively overprotective. And uh I expect you'd have heard, like me, you know, people blaming Michael Gove, you know, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think it's anything to do with that on her part, you know, but, um, and even with the sort of deluge of bureaucracy that she was sort of burdened with every night, you know, is, um, I don't think it's got anything to do with it either. I think it was just laziness, to be honest. So uh, let me just mix some of this up in a minute and I'll talk you through it now. I'll show the palette. I can't, I can't bend the camera down, so yeah, I, I told myself mine. I've had, uh, I've had many occasions when I've uh, had to work well into the night and um, to get a commission or something finished, you know, and I pride myself. See now. I pride myself, I never missed a deadline, but I have, I have made them sweat a bit, you know, and, um, yeah, and I can remember years ago, I was sign writing a shop in Abadaleri, because I used to do a lot of sign writing in the beginning, you know, and, uh, for a woman, uh, Abadaleri's up there, and, uh, she was getting herself into a sweat, about how long I was taking getting uh, getting her sign finished, you know, and because uh, she had a grand opening looming, you know, or a grand opening in Abbot Lady, you know, 
Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it was shortly after they closed the pits, you know, and decimated the, the, the mining industry. And, you know, it had a bad effect, uh, you know, on, on everything really, and the people, you know. Yeah. And the people of the valleys, they were under a lot of stress and pressure then to, to sort of uh, readjust into a different sort of workplace. And this woman I was doing this shop for, she was anx anxious to get this shop open, you know, and get it ready a bit sharpish, like. And she gave me a terrible telling off. Te yeah. And uh, I was upset because um, I, I didn't inadvertently upset her, you know, and um, there was no need for it to have been as worried as that, though, because I had it all finished with at least an hour to spare. And fair dues to her. She paid me straight away. And to show that there wasn't any bad feeling, I had a free massage. So, um, get on to this palette now then. Yeah. This palette is lamp black. I suppose you know what lamp black is. They used to use a carbon out of lamps, you know. It makes a lovely a warm black, you know. And uh, I refuse to use ivory black because of... Uh, or what, uh, where it come from, you know, and um, they made it from um, burning elephants' tusks, you know, and then grinding up the uh, terrible, and it grinding up the uh, the carbon on the tusks, you know, and putting it with a binder to make to make ivory black paint. Well, out of principle, I won't use it, you know, but um, I know they don't do that uh, to elephants anymore to make paint pigment, you know. Instead, they use rhinos. So, um, I won't go to a big extreme of this now. I put a bit of burnt orange in with it as well, all right? So I got, um, I got four colors in here, really. I got, and I got a, a dead wood lace on the palette now as well. Take that over there a minute. Better get rid of him. Just in case he's not in equity. All right, so I'll load this palette up. You better have a look at it now, then. I've only rough mixed it, right? Because I... I expect you want to get on as well, like, you know. So that's just a different, uh, it looks similar to the colours that's on there, but it's a warmer one. When this is on it again, always looks a lot different, okay? So all it was, lamp black, burnt umber, burnt orange, and white. Zinc white again, okay? There he goes. So I'll get that on there now, then. And I'll see you in part four.